This is the only base makeup routine that you need. If you want to look snatched, have no flashback, and have your makeup last all day, keep on watching. What it do, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show y'all step-by-step of the new base routine that I've been doing lately. Switched it up a little bit, had some tweaks in the products and everything. Yeah, I'm just trying to put y'all on. So if you're interested for that airbrush snatched look, then keep on watching. Pause. Before we get into it, can we just have a moment for my hair right quick? Because, I mean, just look how lightweight, silky it looks right now. The shine is everything. And I've been using this new shampoo conditioner, and it's actually meant for moisturization and then also color-treated hair specifically from GK hair and this one when I tell y'all lately because again I've been in the Sun my scalp has been going through it I'm talking like it's just been super dry because of the Sun exposure it's been flaking We're really not a look but the shampoo conditioner actually has juvexin in it and it's a keratin blend and essentially supposed to really just help the anti-aging process for your hair it restores it rejuvenates it but y'all it's been helping my dry scalp no freaking flaking at all my head isn't as itchy no more and it just looks healthy both when I have just my natural hair fresh out the shower when it's fully dry and then also even today as I put heat to my hair because I know y'all know what I'm talking about when you apply heat to your hair sometimes and it's still crazy and you got to add more product this is with just the shampoo and conditioner I didn't add any other products so the more you know it's literally so freaking soft and it's giving a shine that you would normally get if you did like a leave-in conditioner mask kind of thing but this one literally isn't it was just from washing it and I love finding hair care products that don't have sulfates parabens all the bad stuff in it and this one is a very clean formula so if y'all want to give it a shot I'll have it linked in the description box down down below all right first up you already know we're moisturized and prepped but we got primer and I always use the elf power grip primer still and I do have the pink one this just has a higher percentage of niacinamide in it I love it because I feel like it kind of helps tone down texture big pores etc etc while I still have makeup on top this one's bomb but since I'm really just doing my makeup for fun right now I'm gonna use the blue one and I get a generous two pumps of this and you want to really make sure it gets sunk into your skin to get maximum benefits from the primer. And the only way you'll really get the most out of your primer is if your skin is already really hydrated. So do not skip the moisturization because this is what we want. Because this will ensure that our makeup is really just set into place the way we want it to. Let it soak in for just a couple seconds. While we move on to the next step for more foundation prep, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter first. I do a light layer with this because I just want that glowy complexion underneath. But because of that, it will kind of give you that more dewy effect. So if you feel like you're just a lot more oily, maybe skip this step and go straight into the foundation. But I'm gonna just pack on a little bit to illuminate, get that glow. I spritz with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I love anything coconut scented, so when I saw Elf came out with one, I was like, we're copping. The AC is literally on and it's blowing my spray that way and not hitting my face. We're gonna roll with it. Just take a brush and dab that in. Oh my gosh, the primer is primering today. But because that primer gets really, really tacky, that's why I like to spritz with some sort of setting mist or like a Fix Plus mist. What we're gonna do is ignore the pimple that I have right now. I was thinking, you know, maybe I should wait to film this, but when you get excited to film something, you're in the mood to film something, you gotta take advantage of it. Homegirl is just overstaying her welcome. Now, foundation. Y'all, when I tell you I found this Estee Lauder Double Wear at TJ for like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, and the shade range, it was the right undertone and everything however at the time it was during the winter i was so freaking pale but now i finally matched this foundation I finally got the full effect of how this foundation works and now i understand the hype if you're trying to kind of gauge what shade you might be this is in 4n1 shell beige my perfect summer foundation i do wish it had a pump i will say i just start with a little bit you can always get more and just take that like are you kidding look how good that color matches this one is literally perfect. Feels like water, y'all, but still gives amazing coverage and it doesn't emphasize your texture. That's the one thing when it's like higher coverage or like medium to full coverage. And I'm gonna spritz again one more time. Just look how nice this foundation blends in, y'all. Just cop it. Next up, we're gonna do lighter concealer. I still let it sit. I don't blend it right away. If you know, you know. If you blend it right away, it's not gonna stay in place or it's not gonna give the fuller coverage that you want. So you wanna let it dry down just a little bit. 
And now we're gonna do our cream contour. If you've been here long enough with me, you know I always do my cream products first and I love to do cream always. I never really go straight into powder. I feel like it's just wrong. So we're gonna put it right on our cheekbone and drag it a little bit down too. People will put a little bit, but I always really want that bronze look. So I apply a lot more because when you blend it out, it ends up looking a lot lighter. And I use upward strokes when I do this because I feel like it just helps warms it up and won't lift your foundation. And then this one, I just go with downward strokes. And then my jawline. And then also our nose. Kind of round it out, get that button look down the bridge and my lips. And then of course, how you do your nose contour will ultimately depend on how you want it to look. Make your nose look more narrow, you want it to look bigger, etc., etc. But this is just how I personally do it. I'm gonna take a brush and just blend this out. Tap it in. And I do tapping motions upwards, up towards the ear. That way you can hug the skin. Get that nice bronzed glowy look and now forehead i'm gonna blend out this nose contour right quick and i'm not really as you can see very particular about how i blend it because you really don't gotta be too perfect about it i would say if anything be more careful blending down the bridge of your nose like with those lines that you do if you want to keep them where they're at and now we are going to blend out all of this lighter concealer this is my rare beauty i believe this is a concealer brush to blend out the bigger parts forehead t-zone area i'm gonna let the little pimple coverage sit a little bit longer but blend right here underneath the nose and then if you really want a snatched nose contour you can go ahead with that lighter concealer and go down the bridge of your nose i honestly don't do this because i just be lazy and i feel like it's fine without it you know, to each their own. We're just gonna do it for fun. Let that sit. Now I'm taking my Real Techniques Brightening Concealer Brush, the best under eye blending brush, if I may say so myself. And it's so affordable. Get that into that underneath the inner corner. This one I do drag out and then kind of blend down the side of your nose to accentuate that nose contour. And that's all there is to it. Look at that. And before I even go to the other side, we're going to set this in with a pressed powder. And I'm using the Fenty Invisimat Universal Shade. I get a separate powder puff. Kind of drag it across and then tap it in. I don't really tap off excess with this because then when there's not enough product on it, I just feel like it's picking up the makeup that I have on. So yeah, just go crazy. Start at the bottom and then work my way inwards. Go back in, get some more, and tap this in. Look at that, beautiful. That way at least that's locked in before we go in with the loose powder. I'm sorry y'all, I thought I hit record, realized I didn't, but basically. Go in with the brush, drag it down, and then also blend this out, and then I'll use my finger to warm it up a little bit more to help blend it out. Now we're gonna take the same powder and put it on the other areas that we put that lighter concealer. I also kind of put it on my nose. It's okay if it goes on top of the contour. Get any contour shade you want or bronzer that you want. I use this one from Frankie Rose Cosmetics. It's a palette and I use the darkest shade right here in the corner. Similar to the saddle bronzer that I had from Anastasia, but that one literally cracked and shattered on the floor when I was traveling. So now I just use this. We're gonna put it where we put our cream contour to set it in. Jawline. Just warm everything up. Now the nose contour, take an angled brush. That's what I do, like an angled soft brush. I really like the button nose look, so I darken it up the most right here. Darken up those contour lines down the bridge. Drag it up to my brows too. Around my lips, just on the edge. Take any random blending brush, fluffy brush, and just get rid of any harsh lines that you might have. And we're good, we're done with the nose. All right, the rest of the base. We're gonna set our under eyes and also underneath our contour. So now we're gonna go in with loose powder. Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Cherry Blossom. Y'all been waiting for this because it's like a pale pink brightening powder that I really like to have for like my mid-tone blush. So first up, we're gonna take this kind of hard to get powder out of this dab in with a powder puff this one i do use the backhand tap off excess and just press that in i don't really bake at all y'all i stopped doing that a long time ago i just feel like it'll still get the job done if you just lightly press it in gives a nice brightened look with a little bit of hint of pink and we're gonna make it more pink in a little bit i only use this for under eye i don't use it anywhere else in my face because it is so brightening go down that nose contour carve it out a little bit so now i got the under 
after I covered to set the other parts of the face, I go in with my Laura Mercier blurring powder. This is the translucent shade. It's ultra blurring compared to the very first one and it's talc free, but it's just a very satiny, seamless powder. Drag underneath, carve out that contour. That was horrible. And drag it downwards. And then I use this in the same spots that we put the Invisimat powder from Fenty. So then I'm putting it up here on my T-zone. Take the excess that I have left and on just a fluffy brush, apply that to my neck because we still did apply foundation. You don't want it to budge or go nowhere. Go over underneath so that there's no harsh lines, but it still has that brightening carved out look. Now my favorite freaking part, the blush. Let's get into it. You can do this with other shades that you like, but me personally, I like bright pink looks. So start with my normal blush that sits right here. Number 32, Date Night Sephora blush. I don't know if they still have this one, but I'm sure you can find one similar. It's just a bright ass hot pink. Pat it, tap, and go on top where cheekbone is right here and work your way up. And blend it into your contour as well and i drag it up outside my outer corner and it just brings nice rosy color to your face and i used to really be a blush hater y'all like i did not have blush in my routine now i get it the girls i get it get it adds a little something something now i go in with the kylie cosmetics press blush powder this is in pink power 334 take a separate powder puff i use powder puffs for everything y'all tap into this and if you have excess powder on your back hand you can do that tap it on your skin i start at the bottom and work my way upwards to have that pink under eye effect to blend in that concealer color and the blush that you just put on so you have a nice transition and if you ever feel like you maybe did too much of that lighter pink color you can always go back in with the powder puff that you have from that loose powder that we used earlier the Laura Mercier one just go underneath the under eye like this and that's all it is. And now we're gonna do the same to this side. As you can see, this one's a lot more yellow-ish matching to our skin tone, but then this one has that more pink gradient effect. And boom, look at our freaking blush, y'all. I love it, love it, love it. You can even go back in with the OG brush you used. You wanna just darken it up again a little bit after you blended that. We gotta highlight, y'all, duh. I still use my OG ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Wiss. I use a lip brush that on the tip of my nose and down the bridge and also my cupid's bow i'm still a highlight your cupid's bow girly so and that's it for this one and then for highlight the tried and true fenty diamond balm and how many carrots i love her put that right kind of where you put the main blush color right at the peak of your cheek bone and that's it for the base y'all i'm gonna finish up my face i'm gonna do my brows and then put some bottom mascara line my waterline and i will be right Okay, boom, brows done, but I did want to do the lip combo on camera for y'all. We're going to start with chestnut. I'm going to go in with new truffle from NYX. If you know me, I love me a gloss lip. I just can't not do a gloss lip. Fenty Heat Gloss Balm in Hot Chocolate. I forgot to do, forgot to do this lip plumper. Two face lip injections, I'll just put it in the middle. For a little extra oomph, we gonna lighten the middle right here. Okay, I do have contacts in y'all and it's low-key throwing off the blush routine that I do because I feel like it looks good with my natural eye color. But with blue, you know, it's a little different because we got the pinks, the blues, grays going on. But it's fine. We're gonna rock with it. Top her off with some just clear gloss. And boom, we are all done. Now we're gonna spray our face. I love me some Morphe setting spray. I'm gonna spritz this, but if y'all are going out somewhere, want your makeup to for real, for real last, especially if it's gonna be a hot one, put this on first and then layer with the one size until dawn setting spray. And I promise you, it's such a good combination. Also, I think what's throwing me off is this color of the top. I feel like this would look a lot cuter with black or just any darker colored top. I did not do my baby hairs because I like to do them after I finish my makeup. Doing them before just sounds crazy. This is the finished look, everybody. Once you have that base makeup routine down packed, you're really just set for everything. The main products that I use will be in the description box down below. But with that being said, I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.